Growing up for me, um, I've been in low income housing. Um, my first move, I believe, was in the Ore Weather. After that, I moved to the Denver size. So, like when I found out about this, I really wanted to get out of there. I know that it wasn't really a based low income housing development. I just wanted to get out of it. I didn't want to be in that forever. I applied for Section A. I've been on Section A for a while. Um, they sent me a letter saying basically to update my stuff. So I'm thinking that it was coming soon. So I talked to my landlord and I shared with her, you know, well, I have a voucher that might be coming soon, you know. I asked her would I be able to use it here. And she shared with me that she didn't know for sure. And I told her, well, you know, if I couldn't use it to stay here, I didn't want it at all. My mom means the world to me. Um, me and her relationship is like we're, instead of mother and daughter, we're like sisters. I call, I'm like, Mom, uh, you think I should move? And she's like, move where? I'm like, you know those new houses over there on King? She said, yeah. I'm like, she's like, well, how much is the rent? I told her how much it was. She's like, that's a lot, you know. And she was telling me, don't be afraid. Just, just try it. She kept being consistent on getting her one, and when she did, she went through all the process of getting one, and when she got a, a letter saying that she was accepted, she was like, well, mama, I got accepted. She was kind of scared what you think, and I just told her, so you know, tell her, don't get stuck being in public housing. You're young, you're 21, I think she's about 21, 22 at the time. I said, go for it, you can do it. I applied, and I kept, kept asking her every day. <laughs> I really wanted that, even though I was scared still, I, I wanted it. And, I kind of thought about, well, I'll take this out of this check and this out of that one to make it, you know, make me pay my bills or make me add up to pay my rent. I said, because you look up, you'll be in public houses. I'm 42 and you'll be in public houses. People been in public houses, they 60 years old, they haven't moved from this one house, you know, because they got comfortable. And I was asking a lot of people what they thought of it. And I, at the end, I just said, you know what, I want to do it for me. And then a little bit after that, I believe I motivated her to move too. I know she was really afraid to move because of what income she had. I trusted God, and since I've been in, it's like He haven't let me down. I don't want to be raising my son up being on low income. Um, you know, thinking I don't want him to grow up to think that being on low income housing or public aid, all that, that is cool. I don't want him to be grow up like that. I mean, I don't, I don't want to be like that. You know, I'm not afraid to, to change. I want something better for myself and for myself. I think the past is doing a lot of wonderful things for this development and for this area. I know one of our tenant meeting, he was telling us, hey, would it be nice to have a, your own grocery store? You know, would it be nice to have a, your, a park for your kids, your own youth center for your kids in your own neighborhood? What I would like to say to Pastor Watson is, um, Thank you. I am so thankful. I mean, words can't even explain how thankful I am. I would say thank you. Now I would tell him, keep doing what he's doing. You know, let God continue to use him and prosper him to help build up our city. He has done a magnificent job for me. I mean, this is a big change for me and my son, so I'm so thankful.